Hi, this is Mike Grigotsky in our Esri Canada Toronto office. And I'm going to show you how collaboration is set up between an ArcGIS Enterprise and an ArcGIS Online site using data from the City of Halifax. The data will be used to move data from ArcGIS Enterprise through distributed collaboration into ArcGIS, their ArcGIS Online public facing site. So we can see here in my ArcGIS Enterprise guest account, if I go into the edit settings, I have a collaborations tab. And in my collaborations, we have a collaboration set up called public features. I'm the guest in this organization. If we go into the collaboration, we see we have a workspace that's tied to an internal parks group. I have settings on the workspace that I can work with, which shows me that the group I'm working with, if sync settings will happen immediately, if I'm sending my data as copies or as references, which I've set them up to occur as copies, and when edits happened, or if layers are dropped in from online into the organization to the group for the sharing, the synchronization of the edits in those layers will occur at 10.30 each night um, after everybody's gone home for the day. So if we go further into here, we also get information about the sync status, what's happened with it, and I can look at the organizations group that it's using for the collaboration. Currently don't have anything in it, and I just have the one member who's the owner here, Ashley Reed. Now meantime, in our ArcGIS Online organization that we've set it up with, I'm the one who is managing the collaboration. And through the pre-established collaboration that we had set up, we can see in the settings that I also have a collaboration in ArcGIS Online that ties in with that collaboration set up through I'm the host, this is the workspace I'm working with. We can see I could do some edits to the workspace here as well. The host determines whether or not we're sending content, receiving content, or sending and receiving content. We're determined that we're going to send content from ArcGIS Enterprise to ArcGIS Online. We also can get information about the last syncs that have occurred and we can see the group that I'm using here as well. So all the layers in this group have been put in here, not through collaboration. I've tied this into my collaboration as it's been built. If I'd like to get a little more information about the group, I can see here, I get a description about how it partakes in the collaboration. So this is gonna be used on the home page of my ArcGIS Online organization to make layers available to the public. I'd set that, this is outside of the collaboration world, but with the settings, I can see here on my home page that I've made that Parks and Recreation group the group to be used in that feature content. So in the next video, we'll see how we can use, we can put layers into that collaboration and see how they move from one organization to another.